And Mansell's here this morning as well. Good morning. Hola, bon dia to you as well, Mansell. So then, let's have a look at our casa, casa, casa de dia, uh, our property of the day. Uh, Mansell, you are going to like this one. And it is something I came across whilst uh, on social media. And it is a, and it was funny because I think the owner of this, Mario, posted it up in a group that I saw, uh, which was then removed because, uh, oh no, it's back, it's back. I couldn't find it earlier on. But let me, let me just give you a little bit of a description. Um, if you want more information about this when we're over here um, this morning, then please uh, go to the website all the w's goodmorningportugal.com let me just take a breath and a sip of coffee i'm aware i'm going quite fast this morning it's a busy day birthday in the house and um you may or may not know i'm also a community builder for our net and it's an important time in the in the development of our community focused social network our net our net.news if you want to take a look uh, and it's coming together because we are releasing a new version uh, almost as we speak, and I'll be hot-footing it from here to the virtual HQ of Alnet just after this radio show and podcast. So let me just go back to this Caso de Dia. It's delightful, and if only I could show you the pictures, which I will share with you via the website and the links to further pictures. Three tiny homes. This is all the rage at the moment, isn't it? But three tiny homes with a pool, with a borehole, and it has town mains if needed. It's totally fenced in. There is storage very important to some people and there's a barbecue area everything is in the images which i will share with you and it is 1.8 hectares of fairly flat land walking distance to all amenities yet in a very private location near oliveira do, do hospital um, which is a very this is one of the first places i went to when i came to portugal 12 years ago i went to tabua uh, which was the, then the epicenter of pure Portugal and uh, all the wonderful work that they do and, and have done ever since in their 15 years of uh, helping people in Portugal. Uh, shout out to Sophie and to Claire and everyone else in the team at Pure Portugal. Um, so this place is near Oliveira do Hospital, which is central Portugal. And it's it's favoured, I think, by quite a few blow-ins and expats and explorers. And it adds here, Mar Mario, the owner, adds here, great potential for extra income and it was formerly run as an agro-tourism site. And you can get this place. Let, let me just talk, before I tell you the price, let me talk you through some of the pictures I can see. So there's a fairly conventional sort of cabin. Um, and then there's a stone building as well. And then there's a third building, which is more sort of shacky. <laughs> I've got to say, it looks like a sort of civic building, a civic convenience building, but it's nicely painted in green. And I'm looking at the views. There's trees, it's, as, the, as the listing says, fairly flat land, uh, a view of the mountains, quite a lot of amenities within the building. I don't know what you get included, but it's furnished. And there are, there are well-specified well kitchens and water heating and lovely cabins with beautiful views over this flat land and towards the mountains and the trees. I can almost smell it and I can hear the cicadas. Beautiful. And the, the stone cabin is wonderful. Those lovely big stones. Um, I can see a wood burning stove up next to the stones of the stone cabin. Very, very nice. And all of this for a mere 79,000 euros, uh, which is incredible. And hopefully we will do a property program one day looking at the pool. The pool's nice. It has, uh, um, what's that, block paving, a little sort of hexagonal paving paviers i think they're called aren't they around the pool so there's a nice it's not a massive pool but it's a nice pool nonetheless nice to have a plunge uh, on a hot day and it will get hot in this part of the country in the summer very hot nice uh, needs a little bit of um you know fiddling with and, and 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 prettying but the basics are there for an amazing place to live with additional accommodation for as as the listing said as i read out before a business of some kind, uh, a tourism project. Uh, you know, the, the the idea, this wonderful thing, you know, people wanting to go and stay in, um, it's funny, isn't it? People used to want to go abroad for luxury. Now people seem to be happy to go 
miles to to go in and live in a tiny uh, for for a week you know go and stay in a tiny little space for a week it's funny how things change it's funny how you know people's um expectations and requirements change but this is a wonderful place this is known as uh kinta deshkabanash which i'm guessing is a uh, cabin farm far, farm of the cabin 79000 euros there um and i will put more details along with all the others that uh, i've been mentioning over the last few days at goodmorningportugal.com. So there's not a great deal more to say about that. Um, I'll be back tomorrow morning, and I would like to have your uh, input in the Good Morning Portugal group. Do please join up with with us in there and discuss some of the issues that we talk about uh, here on the radio show and podcast on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday morning uh, with me, Carl Munson. And let me know how your journey is going in Portugal, if you're already here, if you've been here for a while, and let me know what it is you need, what sort of insight I can provide for you and this growing community, what we can do for you as, as, a, as a service in helping you get to this wonderful country. So I think I will be uh, signing off uh, right about now. And um, all I've got to do is find out where um, the Facebook Live is open <laughs> so that I can close it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining me this morning. Back tomorrow morning. Until then, Teja, Talogo, and uh, Bon Dia to you, uh, my dear friends. Carl Munson for Good Morning Portugal, signing off. Take care. Bye for now.